Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA, standing alongside Ramsey Nijim. Ramsey, um, one of the things you said yesterday that I never thought I'd hear a UFC fighter say is that they love travelling abroad to fight. They love going different places. They love all of this PR duty. What's wrong with you? Um, you know, I get bored with monotony. You know, I like to mix up things up. You know, I like to have a variety in my life. You know, I like to travel around and see the world and, you know, do what I love, martial arts. And I'm not, you know, I can't complain. I got to come to Berlin and it's a beautiful city and I've had a great time here so far. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's, you hopefully build, uh, I mean, one day when I look back at my career, I'll be like, oh, I went around the world and I fought, you know, in arenas around the world, you know, not just around the U.S., it's around the world. Do you not think, though, you may have opened yourself up a little bit there, the UFC, maybe going to somewhere like uh, Macau again, and like, oh, Ramsey, he loves traveling. Let's take him to, let's take him to China. And, like, if it was, would you say no? Obviously, you're in, if you're in the middle of a fight camp, there's no way you're going to agree to go to Macau on promotional duties. Yeah, you know, definitely if I have a fight coming up, I'm not going to do promotional duties and traveling. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm open for it. You know, there's a couple days here, a couple days there. But, you know, when it, when it comes down to training, I, I don't want to leave, you know, my home. And I want to train every day and, you know, be on my diet and all that. It's hard to travel and diet. That's, that's where it gets really hard. Um, what do you do to combat that? Did you bring any food over with you? Because I know Irish people are notorious for bringing tea bags <laughs> yeah. over, to, over to different countries with them. No, I, I was really not on a diet right now. As you can see, I'm kind of kind of a little bit bigger than uh, when I, my fighting weight. So I don't know, I'm just kind of kind of exploring the city. I'm not too stressed about it. Found some healthy spots, but definitely want to try some of the local food. Eat some uh, sauerkraut and whatever. Bratwurst. Yeah, bratwurst and sauerkraut and all that kind of stuff. So when it comes to your next fight, I know yesterday you were fairly vocal about wanting a guy considerably maybe above you in the rankings. Maybe we thought the UFC wouldn't go for that, but recently we saw Alex Casares get matched up with Uriah Faber. So does that give you hope that maybe you could get matched up with one of those guys? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's a great example of a young, hungry fighter that's winning a couple fights that gets a big fight. You know, he can change his life overnight by winning that fight. And, you know, that's kind of that's kind of the situation I want to be in, you know. And, you know, not even that big of a name like Uriah. I just want someone that's been established in the, the division so, like, I can go out and I can, you know, perform and... But a but a stamp on you know I'm I'm a t top 55er in the world you know I'm here to win fights and I'm here to win titles. So I know Ross Pearson's name was mentioned yesterday at the Q and A. Any other fighters you think that you'd match up well with? Um no I don't really know man like I'm not very good at uh, like knowing names and following you know what I mean like I will watch every UFC fight but. Uh, I, I, I'm not really good at remembering names. Like, I didn't even know he was in my weight class anymore. I thought he was down a different weight. And so when they said that, I was like, oh, yeah, sure, I guess. You know, but uh, I, I don't really know. It'd be, it's tough, but uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know, they, the UFC will find the right, you know, the right matchup for me, and it will work out for everybody and, you know, them too and me and everybody. I have a theory about your newfound vocalness, and I think it may have come from another man that's on your management team, Conor McGregor. Have you seen what he's been he's been doing and how it's gonna and how it's taken off for him? Yeah, you know Conor McGregor is a great example of how to be a sportsman and how to be a showman and how to you know put yourself in a great situation in the UFC. So you know, he's young, and hungry, and he's a great fighter and he's done great things and uh, yeah, you know he's a great great influence. I think you know really kind of kind of you know help see that and just seeing like you know. Uh, it's more more confidence, you know. I've been winning a couple of fights too, and, and I'm excited, and I'm kind of starting to understand how to how to play the game. You know, I've been in the UFC a, a couple of years now, and you know, I got in when I was 22 on the Ultimate Fighter, and you know, I didn't know I was just a, a boy uh, living out a dream. So now I'm kind of understanding how to promote myself and how to be, uh, you know, how to be, you know, the a bigger name, bigger fighter. Finally, the UFC has, I think it's three more EMEA events planned for the rest of the year. Um, Dublin in July, uh, Stockholm or somewhere in Sweden later on in the year, and then Istanbul later on before going back to London in February. Is any of those ones that appeal to you? Because I know you did say you would like to fight in Europe as your next fight. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Istanbul, if that still happens, you know, obviously it's kind of, might be a little bit up in the air now because of the whole thing. But, you know, if they go to Turkey, Istanbul, I would love to fight on that card. I mean, that would be an amazing experience. I've always wanted to go to Turkey, and it's one of the places I want to go before I die. So uh, I would love to, and that's a, I think it's great for my fan base out there. Excellent, Ramsey. We appreciate the time. All Hope right. to see you in action soon. All right, thank you guys.